Hello, my fellow parasites. Parasites, apologize! No. Anyway, welcome to Season 4 of the Venom Vlog. This season we'll be covering Venom 2 movie news, more classic Venom and Carnage stories, the Spider-Man Maximum Venom animated series, and all comics involving Eugene Flash Thompson. So sit back and enjoy another exciting episode of The Venom Vlog. I'm Tom Hardy and you're watching The Venom Vlog. Oh man. Hey what's up everyone, welcome back to another episode of The Venom Vlog. I know it's been a while since we've done a non-live episode. I took the last week kind of off from some video making and, uh, and just kind of worked on live stuff because one i wasn't feeling too well last week and i just knew i wouldn't have the time or patience to sit and edit things but last week i did record some stuff mostly video game reviews and they were supposed to go up this week but i'm going to need more time with them because i really didn't get any editing in last week i basically just worked a little bit on my book the king of neverland uh, for for a bit and then um, you know a couple days last week and then you know uh, did a couple live streams and that's really all the energy i had last week I'm feeling a little bit better now. Um, it's Tuesday as I'm recording this. I go back to work tomorrow and then I'm off again uh, Thursday and Friday. So um, as long as I don't get called into work, because if I do, I'm going to take those hours. I need them right now, especially since I didn't work that much last week because I wasn't feeling well. Um, so if I get, have those days off, it'll give me more time to get some Parasite podcasts in. I already have two interviews potentially lined up. I just got to, you know, hopefully not get called into work on those days. But even if I did, I'll just push those interviews to the evening and I'll record them in the evening. So uh, so either way, it'll work out and I'll have content for you guys. So I appreciate you being patient with me. Right after this episode, we're going to dive back into the Flash Thompson stuff. I'm going to do, I'm going to record one right after this. So uh, you'll get one pretty soon and then we'll get back into the Flash Thompson comic books, you know, from here on out uh, and, and continue that storyline. I was going to do a, a, a brief like review kind of thing on a book called Time Storm. I'll throw the cover up right there. Um, it was called Time Storm 2009 slash 2099. And it was kind of like a, a reinterpretation of the 2099 universe where they, you know, um, the, what's his name? Miguel O'Hara, his father, uh, Stone, who works in the, the, you know, the future, he like sends Punisher back in time, Punisher 29 back in time to uh, like kill a couple heroes uh, so that it could mess with the timeline and change things. And then he was in a protective bubble. And it was this big whole thing. It was kind of silly. It's it's an okay comic, but it was just kind of, it's it's a lot to explain in an episode, all just to tell you that Venom Matt Gargan shows up for like five seconds at the end. <laughs> so so this is me telling you, like if you want every appearance ever by Venom, including Matt Gargan, uh, pick up Time Storm because he shows up at the very end of it when the heroes from the future of 2099 and the heroes of the present and the Dark Avengers all battle each other. Um, so you get to see some cool stuff like Ghost Rider 2099 fighting Venom uh, from current day. You know, you get to see a couple things like that and it's neat, but, uh, you know, there's no real story. There's no addition to Matt Gargan's, you know, character arc or anything like that. He's just in it because the Dark Avengers are in it. So, uh, so if you want every appearance, Go get that. So I figured I'd mention it on this video so that you guys know to go add it to your collection. And now we can get back into Flash Thompson because I don't want to delay that anymore. Um, but before we get into that, I do want to talk about some merchandise for Venom that is coming out. There's a lot of stuff coming out, and I figured there would be because obviously we still have you know uh, Maximum Venom, the cartoon going on. It's got a couple episodes left, so I imagine that they timed some of these toy releases for around this time. Uh, obviously, the movie was supposed to come out next month originally, so they had some other toys that we're going to talk about that I'm very excited about uh, to talk about today. And just other miscellaneous things that are uh, coming out that are Venom related. And I'm sure I'm not going to cover everything here. And I do want to say that, you know, Ryan Softy on uh, on Twitter, even though I'm not on Twitter anymore, my account's not deactivated. So I, um, and I deleted the apps and everything from my phone. But the other day I did peek in on Instagram for a second just to check messages. And then I did the same thing over on uh, Twitter. And when I was there, I saw a tweet from like two weeks ago that tagged me and the Venom site in it. And it showed a... Uh, like a venomized Thor pop figure uh, from Chalice Collectibles, uh, which is exclusive to them. So I'll put a link down below and I want to thank Ryan Softy and Venom Site because you guys are kind of, since I was on there, I was like, I'll spend, you know, a couple minutes here and just check both their pages and see what other Venom stuff they've been tweeting about. So I want to give all the credit to them because I, this is not stuff I heard about. So, you know, like some of you, I think, asked me, hey, did you hear about this? But at that point, I had already been on their two, you know, their pages. So, uh, so big shout out to Venom site. Make sure you follow them. Link to them down below. And Ryan Softy's account. I'll put that down below on Twitter as well. He was a guest of ours on our Parasite podcast, one of our episodes, and he's a really cool dude. I'm sorry I'm not on Twitter anymore, guys. So tagging me and posting stuff doesn't really help. But in this one case, it actually did. Um, so thank you for doing that, Ryan. Uh, but I, I'm pretty sure I'm going to be deleting that account very soon anyway. So. Um, 
So what we have, you know, we have the Venomized Thor pop, and so that picture hopefully went up and you saw that. And then we also have this screen pop, which is gonna be a Walgreens exclusive. And I think Lonely Symbiote, or someone sent this to me, um, so I want to give a shout out to Lonely Symbiote as well, and I hopefully uh, will be streaming later today. I don't know when this video will go up, but um, but today on Tuesdays, usually we try to stream uh, me, her, and her friend Sean and stuff. Like, we try to stream, um, you know, some Monster Hunter on my gaming channel. So if you ever want to hang out with us and chat and talk Venom, you know, come over there and do it on Tuesdays. So, um... So yeah, we got the Scream Pop, we got a Venomized Thor Pop, they both look really awesome. I'm definitely searching for the Scream one for sure, Venomized Thor one, I can I can take it or leave it. Um, it's cool looking, but I just, money-wise, you know, you gotta, I gotta plan, because there's some stuff coming out that I really, really want. Uh, so before we get into, you know, well, let's get into some of that, at least with the Party City stuff, because Party City is launching a lot of Venom stuff. First, we have costumes for uh, boys and adults, you know, so uh, kids and adults, there's Venom costumes, and Carnage costume. So I'll have those two images up right there. Uh, you can get them on the website. If you don't have a Party City near you, you can order all this stuff at their website. So I'll put a link to their website down below for Party City. Uh, there's going to be a lot of links down below today for sure, um, or at least a couple. Um, so you can get the costumes there, uh, you know, for you if, and your kid if you want. You can do a father-son, you know, Venom and Carnage, you know, whatever combination, which would be pretty cool. Um, I don't know if Halloween will happen this year, in, you know, in the way that we think, although you know, everyone's going to be wearing masks, so kind of you can have, you know, trick or treat at least. Uh, but uh, but you don't know where people get their candy from, so you got to be safe about stuff like that. Um, so anyway, so we have the the costumes, and there's also these cool Venom sunglasses that you can get for like ten bucks at Party City, which look pretty awesome. I mean, they're cheapy little things, but they're they're neat looking. Um, and then there's also the uh, the big thing that everyone was talking about, which is the the door knocker. So you can put this on your front door and people can come up when they knock on it, it says Venom things to them, uh, which is awesome. But I, you know, I would just be too scared to uh, put something so cool out, uh, you know, where someone might take it, you know, and then they may not take it purely maliciously, but just because they want it too. And they're like, hey, I want this, you know. Uh, so uh, you put a sign on it that says, hey, buy this at Party City, please don't take. <laughs> but me, I feel like I probably would buy something like that and put it on you know, like my bedroom door or my bathroom door or something like that. I think that'd be kind of fun. So I might try to get one of those. You can pre-order them now. I think they're 50 bucks. So yeah, a lot of cool stuff at Party City. Uh, there's also some Pez, uh, you know, there's a Pez Venom uh, dispenser coming out, which is cool. I have a Green Lantern one. Sometimes I buy those if there's characters that I like. And uh, and so I'll probably buy the Venom one. I'll track it down somehow, which is pretty cool. Still no word on like a Venom drink this time around. But maybe they're just pushing that off and maybe we'll get it uh, when next year when the movie comes out. Because I now that they've made a Venom drink, I hope they bring that back for a limited time and then add a Carnage tea drink uh, flavor. That would be cool. So you could have both flavors. That'd be really great. Um, hint, hint, you know, uh, Pepsi Company or whoever made that the last time. Um, so yeah, we have all that stuff. Uh, we also have the big thing for me. Uh, well, actually, before I get into that, we'll, we'll start with the Hot Toys uh, version of Venomized Groot. Uh, that is a pretty cool looking uh, figure. It's very detailed. I think it comes with two different heads that you can put on there. One where the Venom suit is fully over Groot and then one where it's like half and half. He's got little like, you know, uh, Venus flytrap mouths, Venom mouths coming off of him. Um, but that looks cool. So there's a picture or two up of that. And that's coming out from Hot Toys, which looks really awesome. Uh, the Disney store is having some uh, Venom stuff. They have uh, Venomized characters of Spider-Man and Hulk from the current Maximum Venom cartoon. And these are from their toy box, uh, toy box series. So that little figure back there that you can barely see, the little guy there with the Eddie Brock face and the mouth coming over, that was from a toy box series that uh, Disney does where it's basically they're taking their designs from their Disney Infinity game that they used to do many years ago and they're just making cool little action figures. And they run like eight to 10 bucks a piece or something like that, or 12 bucks a piece, something like that. Um, good deal on these figures. They're actually really nice. The detail's nice. I like the style, the, you know, the art style of them. And they're gonna do Venomized Spider-Man, so he's got the white costume, and then they got Venomized uh, Amadeus Cho Hulk. Uh, and so you know, you're gonna get totally awesome Hulk Venomized as well. So those will be coming out from Disney Store very, very soon also. And again, I wanna thank, um, you know, the people online who post about this like Venom site I found all this all these pictures you're seeing they're basically from their Twitter page and also Ryan Softy's Twitter page um, so that's where I just got them from because I, I saw them and I was like oh let's screen grab these and, and let's you know uh, so I went on my phone and went online to Google and then looked at Twitter that way I was like wow that's a pain in the butt to do uh, so I'm kind of glad I don't have the app anymore to you know 
to keep me away from Twitter. Uh, but I needed those pictures. So I was like, well, I know they're all in one place, so let's just go get some screen grabs. So I did, and I'm glad Venom Site and everyone covered this stuff and posted this stuff. But I did, I know they're from other sources and things too, but I want to give those guys a shout out because that's where I got the pictures from. So thank you, uh, you know, Venom Site and Ryan Softy and Lonely Symbiote and everybody uh, for posting about this stuff. Uh, so now let's get to the the, the real the real fun here, uh, Marvel Legends. <laughs> uh, there's some cool Marvel Legend figures coming out. Uh, we have uh, first the Walmart exclusive Captain America, uh, Venomized Captain America. So that'll be a Walmart exclusive. I think someone online, I think they have it already because I, I think I saw either a YouTuber or like an article on Google mention that they had it. And so uh, the, someone was like, oh, I have an in-hand Captain America and I'm going to put my review up or something. And I was like, wow, already. So... I guess that's out there. I guess they planned it to come out September, October, right around the time the movie's coming out, obviously, or was supposed to come out, and obviously around the time that the um, cartoon was like ramping up for its final couple episodes. So you can pick that up at Walmart, 20 bucks. Um, and then there's the full series, uh, Venom Wave 2 or Wave 2020, whatever you want to call it, where you get six figures in the set, and then there's the Build-A-Figure. And, uh, and so then the seventh figure is obviously Captain America, and you can choose to get him if you want. He's a Walmart exclusive. But in this set, we have Phage, which is cool, because now we're just missing Riot and Agony. And uh, once we get those two, we'll have the five Life Foundation symbiotes, which will be really cool. So hopefully they'll do Phage and Agony in the next wave. I would love them to do uh, Agony as a regular size figure and Riot movie version for the Build-A-Figure. That's what I hope they do in the next wave of Venom toys, which I imagine will come out maybe around the movie time next year if they can uh, advance it up that way. May I was thinking October next year, but maybe they can pump it a little, a couple months forward and release it when the movie releases in the summertime. Um, but that would be great. That way we can complete the Life Foundation symbiotes or at least forms of them, you know, versions of them. Um, so we get Phage, which is great. Uh, we get Venomized versions of Gwen. So we got Gwenum and Miles Morales Venomized as well. So those both look great. Those figures look awesome and I'm excited to get them. I'm excited to get a Gwenum figure and trust me, we're going to do a Spider Gwen week or a Gwen, you know, a Ghost Spider week, whatever you want to call it, uh, and focus on some of the female characters from the SPUMC. <laughs> That's, we'll do this at some point. Um, so uh, I had some issues with my Morbius uh, video. I reviewed Morbius 1 through 5 and it got flagged. I don't know if someone false flagged me or it was an accident or it was intentional. But whatever it is, I'm dealing with that. So I probably won't do those videos as live streams because apparently there are people out there that don't want me to review comics like that live or something. I have no idea. Uh, I didn't think I broke any guidelines and I appeal, you know, I appealed it to, to YouTube and hopefully they say it's cool and they put it back up because uh you know even though there wasn't a lot of people in the chat i still had fun talking about morbius one through five and i encourage people to go buy the book so i, I don't know why anyone would you know hate my opinion on that enough to where they would flag my video but i don't know we'll we'll we'll, we'll see what happens um so yeah so we got venomized miles we got you know gwenum we got uh, phage we got absolute carnage which i'm not super excited about this figure i mean it's basically a carnage with a different head i'm not a big it doesn't bother i mean i don't care <laughs> basically i'm just like eh. there's instead actually to derail for a second there's a disney uh, i think it's a disney store exclusive marvel select carnage i'll put that image up right there um that looks awesome like that is a, a marvel select figure that i'm definitely gonna buy where he's got like a long neck with the symbiote coming out and you know he's got like extra spikes that come out of his shoulders and stuff like that's an awesome figure this other one looks like it doesn't look like a remold or a repaint of the, the other two Carnage figures, which were the exact same figure. Just one came with a Cletus head and one had a just a Carnage head on it. And the other one, you could change heads. Um, this one, you can change heads too, but it has like an absolute Carnage head where it's like almost solid black with the spiral. But to me, I don't want that. If you're going to do absolute Carnage, do the one where you you know it's his rib cage is showing you know with like the the spine there like that that could be its own build a figure or something like to me i'd rather see that than just an alternate head so i'm not very excited about this carnage figure i'm gonna buy it because i want the build a figure um and i'll display it with the you know the black head with the spiral like i'll just display it that way so he looks at least looks a little different on the shelf next to the other two um but then we also get Morbius, which uh, is pretty cool. And you know, it's so funny as my mom, I sent her these pictures and I said, hey, if you see any of these figures, let me know because I'm looking for them. Because uh, her and my brother, he goes out, like my brother goes out every like day or two to hunt for figures for himself. And he's, you know, and, uh, and, and you know, collects things and stuff like that, pops and all that stuff. 
So he goes out for himself. So sometimes I'll just be like, hey, can you look for this while you're out since you're going out anyway? I only go out like once a week for groceries and then I go to work, you know, and that's, that's it. I don't have a lot of money to go out and do stuff. So I'll be like, hey, if you do this, like I can pay you back or something like that. And sometimes he says, you know, to pay him back. Sometimes he doesn't. He's cool like that, which is awesome of him. Um, but, uh, but I said, hey, keep a lookout for these figures. And my mom, she was like, Morbius. Oh my God, they're making a Morbius toy. And I'm like, what? <laughs> it's like one of those things where I'm like, you like Morbius? And she goes, oh yeah. And she's like, you, you made me watch that cartoon with you when you were a kid. And uh, you, you love those episodes where Morbius was in them. And you said you felt bad for him and stuff. And I, and she's like, you used to do that with Mr. Freeze too. And I'm like, see, I just the other day I compared those two guys together. And I was like, so I was blown away that my mom was saying like that she knew Morbius because of me. And because I, you know, talked highly about the character. Cause I'm like, he's not in my top 20 even Spider-Man villains. So it's just weird to me that I would, you know, praise so much, but I guess I really like the cartoon version. So, um, so yeah, whatever. And I, I definitely went through a vampire phase when I was younger. Um, Lost Boys it made an impact on me when I was a kid in the 80s. And then that carried into the 90s. And I, I was a very gothy weirdo kid <laughs> uh, wearing all black and wearing trench coats up until they wouldn't let us anymore. Um, they, at a point after the Columbine shooting, they, they wouldn't let, um, kids wear trench coats to school anymore. So I wasn't allowed to dress like that anymore, um, which I understood. I mean, obviously lives are, lives were lost. So, you know, it's like, it was an easy thing. I wasn't even upset. I was like, okay, I'll find another way to dress up, you know, dress like a weirdo. It's fine. Um, but, uh, but you know, so I, I guess I, I went through a, a vampire phase and Morbius, you know, I liked Morbius. So, um, so all that, so all we've been building towards is this one main figure, this last figure. Uh, which I'm so excited for. I, I'm so pumped for this. I'm so glad they're making it. And to be 100% transparent with you guys, I didn't know for sure, but this was something I was told was in the works a while ago. And because I just didn't really know the person that well that reached out to me, um, that told me that, I just didn't believe it. I was like, well, I don't, I don't know. If I don't know what you want. Do you want me to make a video and say that and leak that? Like, I don't want to. <laughs> I like I'd rather just like not believe you and then be surprised when it comes out. And that's what happened. Uh, so we have a Venom movie version of the figure coming out. And I still can't wrap my head around this. I mean, I I can't believe it. One, I can't believe that person was right. Uh, so kudos to you, the person out there who, you know, wanted to be remained anonymous. So I, I will, you know, I, I don't know where you heard that from or how you knew that was going to happen. Um, or if you just took a lucky guess and it turned out to be the case, whatever it is, uh, you were right. Uh, this figure exists now and that's awesome. And like I said, I bit my tongue on it because I wasn't sure where the information was coming from. And you know how I am with leaks and stuff like I just don't regurgitate them out to, to you guys. Like I'm sure that's something people would like me to do and be the first to crack a story or on things like that. That's not really my goal here. I like to react to things as far as like news comes out and we talk about it. You know, news comes out in, in formal channels and, you know, and, and coming out like through authentic channels. And then we talk about it, you know, like I don't really like to do the scoop thing and the rumor thing. That's just not the kind of person I am and it's not the kind of channel I want to create here um, or, or in that and because I feel like it it just brings in the conversations it brings in I, I've seen other people that do that on your, their YouTube channels and the conversations I see in the chats are just like everyone acting like they know all this information and I just like I don't want that here I just want us to talk about the things that we know is happening because then we can just have cool informed conversations about stuff you know um, so, uh, but still to that person, you know, uh, kudos on you and, uh, and this toy, thank you. Like, thank you Hasbro. I don't know what kind of legal hoops they had to go through. Cause I, I don't know how the merchandising works. I think Hasbro is owned by Disney now. I think, I think they're bought by Disney or, or maybe I mis misread that article a while ago and are misremembering it. Um, but either way, they have a deal with Marvel and they make all the Marvel licensed stuff and they do comic book versions of venom and stuff like that but i if you remember back when they had the first toys came out i was like yeah guys i wouldn't hold my breath on a venom movie figure i meant that i just didn't know how the legalities of that would work where they got a version from a sony movie and put it because the morbius toy is not a jared leto morbius toy it's, it looks comic book uh, accurate although that would have been cool to do a jared leto one um, but it looks like more comic book accurate, which I know the movie is basing off the comic, so it'll probably still look similar in some way. You know, it's got long hair and stuff like that. And, you know, he's pale skin and he looks like a, a bat. So I'm sure there's, there's going to be a lot of similarities regardless. So you can pass it off as a movie one, but it doesn't have the movie logo on it. It has more of the comic book font logo. 
This Venom toy has the Venom movie logo. All the other toys are in white packaging. The Venom movie one's in black packaging. He's got the, you know, the veins, the white veins that look like lightning bolts going through his skin. I'm, I am so excited for this toy. Like, I just didn't think this was possible. And that's why when that person told me, hey, this is in the works and it'll probably come out later this year, I was like, I don't believe you because it's like, that would take, I thought, I mean, I don't know all the inner workings of how the merchandising works for both companies, but I just thought that would be too many hurdles to go through to get one single toy that I felt like they didn't really care to make. But I guess since that movie made so much money for them, maybe they were like, yeah, we got to get a version of this Venom out there. And I'm so glad that they are because he looks good. He's got two alternate heads. You can switch out and stuff. I'm so pumped. So yes, obviously this is like the thing I'm most excited about that's coming out that's Venom related is this one toy. I already pre-ordered it um, on, uh, on Hasbro's website. I wanted to get it in there, get the pre-order in because this is the one toy I care about. This is the one I want and that's it. Uh, the other ones I definitely want to pick up, Phage and all them. But I'll have to do that when or if I make some more money because in the next like month or two, I'm pretty sure I'm going to be less than flat broke with everything that's been going on. So um, so I don't know what I'll be able to, to do. But at least that one I put on my credit card and I know I'm going to at least get Movie Venom, which I'm so excited for. Um, so yeah, and then of course the Build-A-Figure, you can make Venom Pool, a uh, picture of him right there. I'm not too excited for this really, like I don't really care to have a giant Venom pool, uh, but at the same, because to me I would have rather had like Riot or, you know, or Absolute Carnage, like a big Absolute Carnage or something like that, or uh, Null even, like even though I don't, I'm not a big fan of that character, at least it would have been something that wasn't like a Venomized version of somebody, and that's kind of what this is, it's like, oh, it's a Venom Deadpool, and I'm just kind of like, eh, we're already getting a couple of those in this wave, you know, I, I kind of want other things, but Hey, whatever. I see a lot of people out there excited for it, and that's cool. But uh, but yeah, he's massive looking, right? He's big, got the big you know head. He's got the I think the swords and uh, you know slime coming off his face and stuff. It's so I'm I, you know I'm not mad that it's that character. I just kind of like ah, there's other characters I probably would have preferred, but that's just me being a, a spoiled brat, nitpicky person. Uh, so so yeah, no offense to the creators of these things because. Overall, this is a cool wave, and I'm very excited for it, and I can't wait for them to come out. And all these things we talked about in this episode, I'm very excited about. Uh, you know, we talked now 20 minutes about just Venom stuff that are coming out in the next, like, two, three months. So let me know. Out of all the stuff that you saw, what can you afford? What are you going to be able to get? Are you going to be able to get any of it? I think I could probably afford the movie Venom figure and the Pez dispenser, and I think that's all I can do. Um, you know, there's just, it's, life's hard right now financially, and so, uh, I, you know, maybe if I sell some stuff, which I've been putting some stuff, like getting it ready and maybe getting prepared for an eBay store, because like I said, if I can't, if it's coming up where I can't pay bills and stuff, I'm going to have to sell things, and if I do sell enough stuff to where I can make a few extra bucks, Maybe I will, you know, put that towards um, some of these new toys and, and stuff that are coming out. So let me know what you are excited for down below in the comments, and we'll continue our conversation as always down there. And I'm definitely excited to see what you guys are most excited for out of all that merchandise that I just talked about. Um, so yeah, let me know. And uh, we'll have, you know, more merchandise videos at some point down the line. I don't want to do too many of them. I like to wait till you know, five or six new things get announced and then we make a video about all of that, you know, at the end. So maybe in like another month or two, we'll hear about more Venom stuff and we can do another merchandise video. But for now, I want to get back to the comic books. I want to talk about Flash Thompson. So I want to talk about some post Spider Island storylines we're going to get into next. And then uh, after that, we're going to dive into the Circle of Four. And then we're going to get into the end of, uh, you know, Rick Remender's run, which I think was called Savage Six. And that'll bring us to an end of Rick Remender stuff. And then after that, we get into Secret Avengers by Rick Remender, where, you know, uh, Agent Venom joins the Secret Avengers. And after that, he goes to the Thunderbolts, written by Daniel Way, who wrote the, you know, the Marvel Tsunami Venom stuff, where it introduced Patricia Robertson. Like, he wrote that series back in the day. So he wrote a Thunderbolts run with Venom in it, or Agent Venom in it. Um, Agent Venom goes to the Guardians of the Galaxy. So we're going to talk about that. Colin Bunn does a run on Agent Venom after Remender. So we'll talk about that. There's a crossover with Scarlet Spider. So we'll talk about that. Uh, and then we'll talk about um, Venom uh, Space Knight. And that'll kind of be where we end this season. And we'll probably, um, there's a cartoon version of, you know, Flash Thompson Venom in a, a cartoon called Ultimate Spider-Man. We will probably cover that at the beginning of next season because I don't think I have enough episodes left because after episodes uh, 599 or 600 is our final episode for this season. And that's like in 40 episodes and we have a lot of comics to get through and possibly some news that might come out for Morbius and other things coming up. So I'm trying to plan these episodes accordingly 
So we got to focus on the Flash comic books. And we'll get to the cartoon stuff and Ultimate Spider-Man um, next season for sure. Uh, and that's probably also when we'll do the, the week of female characters. We'll probably do that early on next season as well, as, as well as our final Carnage week. Because um, we're going to do a Carnage week and then next season we'll also do a Ravencroft week where we talk about the Ravencroft comic books too. Because uh, we didn't talk about those yet either. So a lot of stuff coming up on this channel. Thank you guys so much for being subscribed. Stay subscribed if you like the content. And let me know in the comments down below what other things you'd like me to cover that are Venom related. And I will continue talking to you down there. And we'll try to plan those out and work them into next season of the show. Which will be season 5. Uh, 600 plus episodes of Venom Vlog. I cannot wait. But we got to get to 600 first. So let's do it. And we're also going to try to get to 3K uh, subscribers by the end of the year. So that's why I want to get back into the groove of things and uh, find more Venom fans out there. So spread the love, find more Venom fans, and bring in more Parasites because we are Venom. Thanks so much for watching the show. As always, like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And I'll see you in the future. Peace.